and their two daughters, 11 and 4, are celebrating their first Thanksgiving in the U.S. We are actually just seven months here, but it's like too much and it's not enough. Uh, anyway, we needed uh, this support and conversation with people, with Ukrainian people. Petrina Kolinkov says the family fled Ukraine earlier this year. She says she knows there's much to be grateful for, but in a way, their hearts feel as if they're in two places at once. We are praying and we would like that uh, this terrible thing must um, finished because it's not normal for people, for families, for children. On Saturday, Spring of Life Ukrainian Church brings together Ukrainian refugees for fellowship, helping connect families to each other and to resources. But the three main challenges they face here, first one, that's renting, housing, another one, the jobs, and the third one, transportation. But uh, as of right now, we're working more, like more deeper uh, with the emotional problems. The senior pastor says the church is doing what it can to help bring peace to families, especially during the holidays. We're trying to organize and to do a quiet place for them. So they can come, they can worship, they can pray, they can eat, and they can sit quietly, and they can just spend time with the friends and God. That's the big, biggest thing with the church we're trying to do. And this Saturday, a special gathering for the Thanksgiving holiday. One side of them, they are celebrate, they are grateful, they are uh, appreciate everything, but they're like thoughts uh, and heart left over there with their like loved one. When this hopes, this peace, this joyful moment will come to Ukraine very shortly. And the pastor here told us that oftentimes people ask him how can they help. He says, first of all, keep Ukraine and the Ukrainian people in your prayers. He said there are further resources on the church's website in Orangevale. Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News.